what is going on guys welcome to a fishing video it is very early out here sun is not even out as you guys can see but we're gonna get to fish we're going over to hampton virginia uh buck row beach pier salt water do a little bit of salt water fishing you know it's about to start getting cold out here so trying to get the last salt water that we can so we're gonna try to fish the high tide the rising tide and as some shrimp is big got a couple things i'm gonna take the big rod today see if we can get on some red drum or anything decent size as well so let's get right into it let's go fish and let's see how our luck is today now we have three different setups out here that i'm about to show you guys i always like going over the setups how we're rigged up before we do get to the fishing now what we have right here is the fish finder rig what we have on here is a sinker slider with a three ounce uh weight a bead we have a swivel in the middle and then we have a five odd inline circle hook now you guys can use offset circle hooks as well just make sure you guys uh check your state rules sometimes you can't use uh non-stainless steel stainless steel or you guys can't use offset with certain type of fishes that you guys are going for but this one the leader as well is just preference i like shorter leaders because i can cast further but then the longer leader does give you the advantage of the weight being further away from the leader and that that uh bait that you're using to be able to float a little bit more the next rig that we have is the sabiki rig the sabiki rig is what we have so we can catch bait you know this is what we're going to catch bait with sometimes you catch some decent fish with the sabiki rigs so like sometimes some nice sized fish will hit the sabiki rig so that's a plus as well and if you guys aren't familiar with the sabiki rig it has five hooks i put a two two ounce sinker on it um you know you guys put any type of sinker that you guys want but i put two ounce i don't go three because i'm just usually just casting that right under the pier and casting that anywhere close just to try to get that bait and you guys could just you know work that little uh the whole rig and you guys will get hits and um, honestly and get your bait fish on there and then from there i just put the bait fish on the bigger fi fish finder rig and try to get some red drum or any bigger fish that attack those now the last rig that we have here is the most basic one that almost everybody knows the high low rig now i put three ounces on here it just all depends on the condition as well of the water like if the waves are high if the current is strong that day the, the tide is up it all depends i usually start off with three ounces because the current in the water in the ocean is just always going to be strong so three ounce four ounce is a good good spot to start so, you know some people will go with two ounce but that just floats away too much everywhere but the high low rig we also use a size two snail hooks and um those work perfectly not size two i'm sorry size four you guys can use size six those both work i like going with the four sometimes i throw in the six a little bit bigger that's all you need you guys will catch croaker spot a bunch of just different fish on this rig as well all these rigs that i'm showing you guys you guys will catch any type of fish but most of them target a certain you know certain group certain species but let's get into fishing First one. <laughs> First one Lexus caught. Little croaker. Let go back. I could use that one as bait though. Nice one, nice one. Yeah, this one's fighting good. Yeah. It's a good size one. Trout, weak fish, they have to be 12, so I'm gonna have to measure him. I'm gonna have to measure him. Good size one. First grade trout, almost 12, too small. Let's catch some bait fish on the sabiki rig. Let's go over this way. 
And this would be where you guys can literally just throw it down right under the pier. That's what I usually do, and that's how I catch my bait fish. Sometimes you can toss it out out there, but you can just throw it under. All right, let it touch the ground. Now all you have to do is bounce it. And then you guys will get hits. Small little power fish, third fish of the day. This is a little small Kroger spot. Yeah, little, little croaker. Oh my god. Five and one. Four and one on a sabiki. <laughs> no, nah, I might have got off. No, it's on there. Another small croaker or spot. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Let's see what it is. Another puffer. This puffer just swallow the damn hook, man. He swallowed the hook. Sorry. Five. Oh. It's two at once. Two at once. He's a good little bait fish, but I'm going to just throw him back. I don't need him. Tiny, tiny. I don't know if this is a sheep's head or no, this is a sunfish or a perch, a little perch. Cute, small, tiny little perch. Got some 
more small ones. Something small on there. Yeah, small little fish again. Got a bunch of small fish. Croker. Has to get another croaker. This one's all right. The croaker is a spot. Now this is some other something else. I don't know exactly what this is. So I'm on a hook. A little chubby. A little chunky little fella. This time, set the hook on time. Looks like another croaker. No, maybe fish. No, this is a croaker. It's a good little bait. Time. I was missing a lot of them because the, the drag was loose, but I tightened the drag up so I don't miss them. I just hit that hook. Try to see if we can get a red drum or anything bigger. Going back. It's only one. <laughs> Another croaker. It's on the bent on that rod. Not the biggest size, but I'm gonna keep this one. Not a sh bait fish, uh, sheep's head. Yeah, because they don't have the teeth like the, yeah. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. Spade. spade fish. What size they gotta be on this? They gotta be, I think they gotta be big on. Oh, there's not a size on Are they good?
Yeah. I'll check. I think they're more of the, uh, spade fish. Spade fish, yeah. yeah. I know they catch a lot of these on the boat near wrecks. They're like some huge ones. Nice little spade fish. Beautiful spade fish. Let me grab them real quick and get them unhooked. We're not going to keep him, but he's a cool one. These get real big. Take a picture of my phone. Sun yellow perch. That's all my shrimp though, so. Oof. Get my croaker still alive. I wonder if my little croaker still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Still alive on the fish finder rig. Couldn't get anything else. Couldn't get anything on the fish finder rig. I was trying to get a big fish. The marine police out here. He came and checked coolers. I didn't keep nothing. I just kept, I think, one okay size croaker, but then I gave him to somebody else's because I don't like keeping just one fish. I like keeping multiple fishes. So I threw him back. Good day out there at Buck Row Beach up here. It was always a fun time out there at Buck Row, honestly. It's just a bunch of species you could catch out there. The main thing we were targeting though to, today was red drums. It's what I was rigged up for and what I wanted to catch a 20-inch would have been good, but nothing hit it. I had live bait. I had the croakers on there. I had spots, different um, live baits on there. that They didn't hit any of that stuff, so it sucked, but it is what it is. We did get on a lot of different species, croakers, spots spade fish uh puffer fish and i forgot we, we got some other species as well um out there so it was fun it, the whole time they were biting everything so it wasn't like it was just a slow day of not catching anything we only had like two keepers though they were the croakers i gave them some to other people i didn't just want to usually i don't like keeping just two fish um i like keeping a lot more but it, it is what it is it's whatever but it was fun time out there like i said a lot of different species I'm going to try to get it back up there and try to get some more fish. Maybe next time go try to get some bluefish, some Spanish mackerel with a different pier. The oceanfront one and the sandbridge one is better for Spanish and bluefish. There's a ton of them out there and all you guys have to do is use the gotcha plug. So we got a lot more content coming. We'll be fishing on Virginia Beach next week, so stay tuned for that. Uh, if we did catch fish, there's going to be a video. If there's no video, that means we did not catch fish. But we'll be out there on the boat trying to get on some black sea bass and a lot more content coming. Fresh water, a lot more content, just fishing content. So if you guys love fishing, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well. There's a lot more fishing content coming out. Appreciate it. God bless. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. God bless.